hello to everyone welcome to my channel today we will learn the topic bigger and smaller from ncrt chapter 1 before starting the topic bigger and smaller let's understand what does big means and what does small mean let's take an example of two animal one is elephant and the other one is a rat here we will use the sentence elephant is a big animal big big means the size is very large big and for red we will use red is a small animal means small in size so basically big and small are the terms used for the size of an object animal in mathematics we use big and small to describe the size of an object okay so th this is a football this is a big football now compare the size now this football is more big so we will use the term bigger bigger balls when we have two big object now we have to compare the size of these two object then for the object which is more big we will use the term bigger for that one and the object which is small as compared to the other one we will use big for that one now let us learn what is small and how do we compare to small objects so this is a small ball we have one more ball which is more small than this one so we will use smaller ball for this ball we will use the term smaller ball so when we have to compare the size of two small object we will use the term small and smaller when we have to compare the size of two big object we will use the term big and bigger now let's do this exercise from ncrt bigger and smaller so the first question is take the bigger so we have two animal one is hippopotamus and the second one is a small puppy so we have to choose which one is bigger now compare the size which one is bigger yes this hippopotamus is bigger than the small puppy okay second one take the smaller now we have two leaves we have to compare the size now which one is smaller yes this leaf is smaller than the other one then we have two animal one is squirrel and the second one is cow now which one is smaller yes this square is smaller than the cow okay next one take the smaller tire which tire is smaller this one is smaller suppose we have one more object we have three object which term we will use for the third one let's do this one we have a one big ball and we have learned if the size of ball is more then we will write bigger ball then we have another ball which is more big than this one so what should we write we will write biggest biggest if we have three object and we have to compare the size then we will write big bigger biggest for two object we will write only big and bigger for three we will write big bigger biggest similarly for small object one small ball less small so we will write smaller ball and we have a small ball then we will write smallest out of these three balls this marble ball is smallest now let's do an exercise from ncrt biggest and smallest take the smallest tree which tree is smallest yes this tree is smallest out of these three trees take the biggest animal which one is the biggest animal yes this one is the biggest animal out of these three 
take the smallest fruit smallest fruit this cherry is smallest take the biggest bubble which bubble is the biggest yes this bubble is the biggest one now we have another topic top and bottom so first what is top and bottom these two terms are used for the position of an object here you can see the boy is at the top of the slide and this boy is at the bottom of the slide this bird is at the top of the tree this cat is at the bottom of the tree take the pot on the top which pot is at the top yes this pot is at the top top means highest point bottom means lowest point take the animal at the bottom of the stair uh, which animal is at the lowest point yes this puppy is at the lowest point that's all for today thank you for watching my video we will meet after some days till then bye have a nice day